Hello, I hope I find you well today. And in today's Lightroom Quick Tip, we're going to be looking at smart collections and what you can and can't do with them. So without further ado, let's jump across to Lightroom Classic. So here I am in Lightroom Classic, I'm running version 11.5. Now smart collections are a great way of bringing images together in an automated way. And any information that is in your IPTC or your EXIF data, you can bring across. So let's give you some examples here. So we're just going to come up to the plus under collections and we're going to go create smart collection. And we can name the collection, we can put it into a folder. So I'm going to put that into my smart collections work in progress folder. And our first drop down is rating, but mine is on picked flags. So just show me all my picked flagged images. Just press create. There they all are across the whole catalog. Now what I could do, if I just double click back on the collection to make it easier for everyone, there's a plus here. Okay, I can add an extra rule. And under the match drop down, I can say any of them, all of them, or none of them. So you can have a negative search. So something that I looked at a long time ago was I could see what images were not keyworded. So let's just take away the flagged, go down to other metadata, keywords, keywords are empty. Press save. There's all my images in my catalog that are empty keywords. But let's imagine you've got hundreds of thousands of images that you haven't yet uh, processed or metadata and so on. You might want to have a workflow that are flagged and the keywords are empty. So press save. There are no images in my catalog that meet that rule. And that rule is they are flagged and the keywords are emptied. Okay. I, in my commercial catalog, use color labels. So I would build in there color labels. So I would go, show me all my color labels. Let's say it's red. Red to me means that's an image I'm going to process. So I've picked it, so I've culled it. Uh, I want to know there's no keywords and what status am I in my editing workflow? So this is a real representation of my smart collections in my workflow. So press save. But what I could do, if this was my workflow, um, I could put a date range in there as well. So if I go plus, and I could go date, capture date, was it is or was in the last month. Okay, so I could look at all the images that are taken in the last month. So you can build all this information up and let's have a look at what information we can have. So we're going to go plus and I'm just going to click on the drop down. So you've got rating, which is stars, pick flags, that's picked, unflagged and rejected, color labels, so all the color labels, label text, so the text label, has it got a smart preview? Have you built smart previews within your catalog? So you can work away from your main drive uh, on a laptop or something like that. Has it got a snapshot? So a snapshot is in your develop program uh, workflow, you can record that particular moment in time where you are in the history and you have a snapshot of it. Source is where it is in your catalog. Is it in a folder? Is it in a collection? Is it a published collection? Is it published via the published services? Then we have file name and file type. So that's quite straightforward. File name, is it? Is there a copy name? So for example, uh, it's a virtual copy. File type, is it a RAW, is it a JPEG, is it an iPhone image, uh, and, and so on. Date, now that's really powerful because we can select the last seven days. So let me show you that. So let's go date. We've got capture date or edit date. So capture date. And we've got is, so taken on a particular date. So you can, wherever they are in your catalog, let's say you've lost them, misfiled them. You can say, oh, I went to such and such last week. You just create a smart collection with that date in there. And it brings back all the images wherever they are. Um, is not, so all the images not taken that date. Images taken after a date, before a date. And we can go through, but the range is really good. Range is taken between this date and this date. 
Or you might want to say, show me that we were taken today, show me yesterday, last week, last month. And the great thing about today, yesterday, last week, last month, this year, is as we go forward in time, that smart collection goes forward with you. So in a week's time, it will look back a week, not today looking back a week in okay, case so it moves with you so it's really really powerful these smart collections and we have camera data so camera serial number lens focal length shutter speed we can create you know let's say you were looking for um, an artistic image you couldn't find and it had a slow shutter speed but you knew it was let's say shot at 24 millimeters so you could just do a, sh um, a smart collection with a, sh a focal length of wider than, than let's say 35 millimeters and it had a shutter speed of less than a 15th of a second and it would search the whole of your catalog for those images and let's say you picked it and uh, you'd already edited it and you'd, you'd build these into a smart collection so it's really really powerful so i hope that's a help there's one thing you can't do with the smart collection and i'm going to show you a quick workaround you can't, as of the time of recording, sync this to the cloud. But let's just say we're going to, let's say just, uh, let's take, get rid of that one and let's just have flagged because that's gonna bring a collection. Okay, so we've got these images here. Um, this is a smart collection, so this is the answer. Okay, what I could do is Command or Control A, select all, and I could create a normal collection included the selected images and then sync that one to the cloud but remember that is a frozen moment in time next week if there are more images that meet the smart collection rules this will change but this static collection won't change so the smart collection will change but the static collection won't and you'll have to manually adjust it. I hope today's Lightroom quick tip was of help for you. Just to let you know, I offer lots of training courses live on Zoom at learn-lightroom.co.uk and if you've enjoyed what I've shown you today, why not subscribe? Perhaps leave me a comment or if you've got a question, leave that below. Uh, give me a thumbs up, give me a like and just to the side of me is my Lightroom Classic Quick Tips playlist. Stay safe. Have a great day. Bye for now.